Hello and welcome. This is Joe Bryan. I'm going to be your guide here on setting up your Facebook URL. Now, uh, you've already created your fan page and you've given it a name. And uh, let's go ahead and log into my account here. And uh, we'll go ahead to my fan page. Now before you can do this, you'll see here, this is the title of our page, My Custom Fan Page Design and Video Tutorials and Training. We added some additional keywords onto the name. This is how it appears in the Facebook search. Uh, what we're now going to do is, is you'll look up here in the address bar, you'll see that we have this very long name here, facebook.com, home, php, forward slash pages, very difficult to remember. So what we want to do is create a custom URL uh, that's easy for your uh, users and your fans to remember and something that you can put on your printed materials, business cards, uh, post on your website and other social media sites, etc. Uh, now for this to work you have to have uh, 25 fans and you'll notice that we have exactly 25 fans here. So what I'm going to have you do is go up to the top here and you want to go to facebook.com forward slash username. Now it's very important uh, you'll, that you set this correctly because uh, you will only have one option to change this and after so many fans you don't even have an option to change it. So you want to make sure that uh, you pick the correct name. Now you'll notice at the top here it uh, indicates that uh, I've already chosen a name for my personal profile, but uh, this is where you can select a name for your pages. So from the drop down list box, you see all the various pages here, and in this case, I want to give a name to my custom fan page design video tutorials and training. And we're going to pick something a little shorter and a little more reasonable, so I'm going to say my custom fan page design. Once again, we want to make sure that we spelled it correctly, and we're going to go ahead and check the availability, and it says that our name is available, and uh, they bring out a couple points here. It says you can't change your username once you've set it. Um, you can't transfer the ownership of username to another party. Um, obviously, you can't uh, validate trademark rights. You couldn't pick Coca-Cola or Nike, um, and uh, you can't squat on trademark names. But um, you definitely want to make sure as soon as you have 25 fans that you do this so that you secure your name as quickly as possible. Um, in our particular case, my custom fan page design is rich in keywords. It's also uh, the name of our website, mycustomfanpagedesign.com. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm this. And we'll now see that the username has been set for my custom fan page design. It is now facebook.com forward slash my custom fan page design. So once you have your Facebook URL set, um, I would highly recommend once you have your custom welcome tab with your content on it that uh, you go ahead and copy that link you'll notice how it has your custom URL and then it indicates uh, question mark V equals app and these strange numbers. We'll get into this later but you can define a direct link to any tab that you have uh, on your Facebook fan page. This proves useful uh, linking from one tab to another or linking from your website to a specific tab. Um, an easy way to find that information is to simply click on the tab itself and you'll notice that uh, uh, the information up here in the address bar changes. So if we wanted to link directly to the video page uh, or to our blog uh, or to our wall. But in this case, what we want to do is encourage people to uh, give us their email addresses. So we have all this information about our Facebook design product here. Uh, only new visitors will be seeing this. So what we want to do is copy this link and go ahead and go to our wall and then here in the profile box we're going to encourage people by saying free fan 
page tips. And go ahead and put the link. And uh, once you're finished with that, this is now uh, selectable. You'll notice that it takes people directly to the welcome tab. Now, one other piece of advice here. Um, you are limited on space here, and we're going to want to put in our Twitter account, our YouTube account, etc. So uh, instead of having these very long URLs, we recommend using a URL shortening service. And a good one to use is bit.ly, because it's free and it provides tracking. So um, you can go ahead and shorten your URLs, but if you do want to uh, um, have tracking information, um, you can go ahead and sign up for an account. Uh, we already have an account, so in this case, go ahead and sign in. And we simply paste our long link there, and now it's been shortened to something more manageable. So we'll go ahead and copy that, and we'll go ahead and replace that. with the shorter link. And now you'll notice that if you click the link, it has the same effect. One advantage of doing this is, is that if you put in shortened links using bit.ly or another URL shortener with anal uh, analytics, uh, you'll get accurate tracking as to how many people have actually clicked the link. And uh, if we go ahead and refresh this. You can see that we have one out of one clicks, and this is just from the link that we just posted. Um, this will come in very handy, too, as we get involved in using Twitter. Um, obviously, when you're limited to uh, short updates of 140 characters, shortening URLs becomes very important, particularly your blog post. But uh, use bit.ly. We'll have some more uh, training on this in a future video. But it's an excellent uh, resource for shortening links to your blog post or to your website and having tracking so that you can see what type of traffic that you're developing. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, actually do one more here. We'll say uh, our Twitter account. to our profile we'll go ahead and copy this we'll go over to bit ly to shorten it and we have a smaller more manageable link here and then we'll go back to edit this box and say follow us on Twitter. So anytime that you conclude links to your other content, it's always a good idea. Um, you don't know what page people will be arriving on, whether they'll be landing on your wall or your welcome tab or your blog. But uh, uh, ideally, you want to create a social framework and a web so that all of your sites are interlinking to each other. And you also want to have the ability to track that information in terms of analytics. So this is just a quick way to do that using the bit.ly shortener. And you could go ahead and add your LinkedIn account, your Flickr profile, your YouTube channel, etc. And we'll get involved in more of that in future videos. I hope you found this informative, and I hope that you had success in setting up your Facebook fan page and your custom Facebook URL.